Deb was space around while trying to get, like, he gets to confirm, and then, depending on which type of Ike this is, they may just near a lot more than usual, or use a few other aerials. So we immediately off the bat, we see a quick draw. So, we, we know that he just wants to be close to the space, and he's doing a lot of short hop um, um, up airs, just trying to catch Webb above him. I think that's a good idea. ZSS, never really been known for her ground game. Uh, and so the fact that Ike has all of these, I mean, they are kind of slow, but they are very long lasting. His big sword aerial. So just putting him, if he knows where ZSS is going to be, all he needs to do is just throw out a move in that space and it'll catch him. Yeah. So, but that's the thing. He has to read where ZSS is going to be. And ZSS can, it's fast enough to react to Ike. Yeah, so we already it, saw that yeah. at least so a few times. Web sees a, like, a miss button, a whip button, and he's just in range. He can just punch. Yeah, one thing, though, is... Uh, so, as far as I can tell, I'm pretty sure that uh, Web has hit... Um, has hit the Ike twice as many times, and we're basically tied. <laughs> like, the damage output yeah. of these two characters... Granted, ZSS does have ways to set up into a kill, but... Yeah. <laughs> so does Ike. Not as easy as Ike. Yeah, that, that kill confirm still does work, but it's at much, much uh, stricter percents. But as we see right there, Nerda up air. If you're not careful, if you're not aware of when that is the threat, uh, you can just be caught by it and die. Yeah, I remember these Ikes telling me, yo, it, it's gone. You don't have to worry about it. Next week, I'm still getting hit by it. You know, like, yeah. We just, well, of course we they said. changed their percents. <laughs> No, of, of, <laughs> and of course they would say, oh, it's gone, because then you stop playing around there for at least a week. And, oh, there it happens again! Yeah, that... Well, it's kind of getting messed up. I mean, if you noticed, at that point, he started using Nair a lot. He realized that it's going to be a lot of work to find a kill on a high percent ZSS, most likely. Um, so instead, when once he gets Webb into that range, he's just he's tr looking for the Nair. The one yeah. Nair hitting you just guarantees him a stock. The risk reward is so strong at that point. Also, oh, that bear just catching him. Also, I heard that Ice like to use Nair a lot more just to steal it, just so that they can keep that percent thing oh. go for a long period of time. That's actually <laughs> spamming Nair now. Tactical. Yeah. It's tactical, man. It's <laughs> All right. He's, Webb's with a lot of moves. He's trying to play a lot more patient, just stay in his ground and be a bit more campy. And just seeing if Maniac will break and go in. Yeah. Oh, I'm I, missing I, the tech chase right there. Yeah. I, I agree with trying to slow it down um, because he was getting his jumps were getting caught all the time. He was just like jumping in these panic situations as we see right there. And I just throws out the move. And I when you... When, when you're going head to head against Ike, if he's if his move is already coming out, you're probably gonna lose his ESS. Yeah, no, definitely. Oh, he just does it again. Oh, but living across stage. Yeah, that move with it, a DI helps out a lot with surviving that move, and stage positioning really matters. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna. Web's gonna live another one of those. ZSS fairly like character. Compared to the rest of the cast, I'm still going to take it across screen. Yep. Uh, a bit of a questionable F tilt to pressure shield. Some characters punishing, if, you, if they're facing away from you and shielding, it can be difficult for them to do it like a real serious punish out of shield. But Ike, all he needs to do is turn around and do an F tilt. And that's yeah. the kill move. You can see the up smash. And yeah, you, that just takes a bit too long. Yeah. You have to do the drop shield frames, turn actually, around, up tilt. Give I he definitely walked has a little time bit. Spot think, shot. If he didn't get that walk, would he have uh Uh it still looked like he might have got it. He did get a walk. No, that's just a turnaround frames, it looks like. Okay. Or he might have got a little shimmy with it. I yeah. Know. And I, I wanna also point out that the spacing on that was a uh, really good knowing going for that up smash but the fact that the uh yeah just gets gets the neutral air again but um because normally zss can punish you out of shield with uppy but by being just far away enough with that up smash that was no longer an option 
and yeah. there's the neutral air can. Yeah. So I don't know the exact percents that neutral air up air will connect and confirm, but luckily uh, we'll know because he's going to start really fishing for that up air. He's yeah. going to announce it to the class. <laughs> and Webb just turning up the jets here, delivering 80% onto Maniac. Yeah, that's something we didn't really see in that first game. And that is a big weakness of Ike. He doesn't have a super big combo breaker. He doesn't have, you know, something to get him out of those situations where characters just juggling him, hitting him over and over again with fast moves. Yeah, he he, he doesn't want to have some, say, a mass check. Oh, reading the DI on that. I think he also caught oh. the jump. Oh, and that should be death. Yeah, able to just go out there and clean it up. I like, I like. It feels like, honestly, this was a macro adjustment on uh, Webb's part. Really, and what do you mean by he, that? He, a game plan change. It wasn't like, a, okay, you know, there was something very specific that I wasn't quite doing right. He's like, no, I need to be doing a pressure here. I need to fundamentally be changing the way I was approaching this matchup. And I think that's a big part of what he's doing. He's going for harder reads, for one. You know, that up call callout earlier on. And yeah. right now, just staying, yeah, just like pressuring his face just a lot more effectively here yeah and you say harder reads but those were things that were displayed in game one and Webb probably just took note of it and said hey i'm just gonna now punish you for this game too i was saving this in the pocket and now i'm just gonna use it take time and just hit you for it yeah i this is the sort of thing where just because you beat somebody game one doesn't necessarily mean you're better than them yeah no <laughs> It, you need to beat them in the two out of three. That's where the adjustments are made. Oh, and adjustments made. We saw he was missing a lot of techs. A lot of techs. And before he was trying to go for these tech chases, and I was like, no, I'm just going to punish that missed tech that I know was coming. Yeah. Oh. oh whoa. What I that just got box? scooped up. CSS does that. And before I was going to say, this is a really great Ike stage. I was not agreeing with this run back, but Webb is just having me change my mind. Yeah, I mean, ZSS, her movement is so good that she, like, this time around, Webb just really abusing those platforms and reads the spot dodge. Once again, that's something that was a habit that was shown by the end of that ge last game. So this is looking totally different. And I mean, of course, this is Ike. I think right now he's going for an air or is he going for an air a lot? Yeah, he's, he's looking for an, uh, an air up air finisher right now. If yeah. he can land it, then this is he could still definitely take this game. Oh, but he knows that. Caught his landing again. Because yeah, he knows he's going to go for the Nair. The risk reward for that Nair might be really good, but in the end, yeah. it means that he's predictable. And catching that roll onto the stage, we have Webb taking game two. We have one to one versus these two players right now. Yeah. And winner of this potentially faces the winner of Zane and Tom. So. Webb might this have not an easy the bracket, Salty. <laughs> yeah, no, we have a lot of good players in attendance tonight. And um, there are probably a lot of players. Like, Tom hasn't... Uh, he hasn't quite had some... He was he was doing really well in some Xenos for a while, and I guess I haven't really seen him competing uh, lately. So if he's uh, going to be making his return, he definitely wants to be really showing up for that. And uh, that, that edge guard was just so good. Yeah. Recognizing, knowing that his options were limited, and just double tapping him off the stage, making sure he didn't had no chance to recover. And right. what stage do you think we're gonna do? Uh, run back third time. Third time. I, uh, I don't oh, know about I'm that. A, yeah. <laughs> now, why do you think Smashville? All right, well, let me tell you, salty. Middle platform, really good strike. That's basically controlling center stage and having a combo extender for your nair up air. So just early kill percents and keeping center control. What more do you want? Yeah, I mean, as we're seeing, it's like an extra shield. It's like Ike has this giant sword and now he has a shield too in the form of this platform that he can just stay right under. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that, oh. Uh, th that, that downbeat to get out of the corner. It can be risky, but really works out for Webb there. 
How much of this? Okay, I like that. We sort of recognize that he was wasn't sure about getting the punish, and so instead punishing the counter attack. And yeah. now we have 124%. I think whatever adjustments Webb made in the last game are staying true now, even though we are on a, uh, you know, the counter pick. Yeah, and that's how you know it wasn't just like a stage counter, a stage thing. It was just a complete game plan or like download of Maniac's like play. Oh, yeah. falling out of the up smash. That does happen for ZSS. Oh, did that? No, it still didn't do it. And now we might actually see a little bit of trouble here. I One neutral air, and I think he's dead. Yep, we're starting to see the neutral air come out from Maniacs. Okay, that time I guess yeah. the spacing wasn't right, but he gets the follow-up anyway. Now we have him with the actual lead here. Yeah, Bear taking it right there. Oh, just clipping him. I love the movement using, I believe that was a, that might have been a B reverse or a wave bounce, but regardless, being able to take that stock really massive, it means that he can play a little bit more of the neutral he wants just to rack up damage, and oh, that forward air not able to link to anything quite better, only 19% onto Maniac right now, and it seems that Webb is slowing down a bit. Yeah, now trying to bait out these defensive options, but not able to continue the combos in the way that he was in that game, too. Oh, maybe I oh. stand corrected right here. Is that it? No, oh. it's not. Good deal. I, I, I'm sorry, I had a Smash 4 flashback right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of punishing defensive options, catching the air dodge right there, and that might, that'll probably do it. Yeah, yep. no, that definitely will do it. So yeah. one stock a piece, and the first stock has been usually going to Maniac. So hopefully Webb can break that cycle right there. And just two hits from Maniac just even basically evens up the percent after Webb was just like doing Nick and attacking at him. Oh yeah, really recognizing that spot dodge habit and trying to punish it effectively, but now these two are almost tied in percent and edge guard opportunity we haven't really seen any besides from that game too yeah, not that no many doubt. edge guards and there it actually happens going deep yeah, for it good job I, for web just yeah. recognizing when he takes when he took the jump and knowing that ike was just limited on his resources so like right yeah. right here he catches catches him with the neutral ghetto yeah he burned his jump that was the big thing he tried to no, go for jump side b yeah and that's it if he could he have air dodged upwards through that would he even have been able to survive if he well did that? he had to be ready that web was doing it I'm gonna go out there and he just wasn't prepared so that's yeah. something like he just like it's easier offline because you could react to it but in the online environment where it's just harder to react and you just have to know the player in those tight situations you, you can just get blown up 